everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas, and I am very, very excited tonight. I'm going for overall win, number 941. I am for the first time in Coral Springs, Florida. We've got lots of people here, which is much appreciated. <laughs> This might be one of the fanciest places I've ever done a food challenge, but I'm here at Tavolino della Notte, which is Italian for table in the night. I'm the first person to help kick off their veal chop parm challenge. All of this food looks and smells amazing. Just watched them cook it. I've got one hour to finish everything here. So there are three 16 ounce, one pound veal cutlets turned into their veal chop parm. So we've got all that as the main entree. We've got a dish of their penne al vodka pasta. Over here we've got, it's one of their signature dishes, their pear pasta, uh, tortellini, I think they call it pear ravioli. Along the way we've got a full stick of garlic bread. And then right here we've got three of their five ounce meatballs, which are homemade here with their sauce. And then there's a scoop of ricotta cheese on top. I've got a purple haze to drink along the way, which I know includes Kettle One Vodka. It's got an awesome name, especially if you love Jimi Hendrix. But after all this, I've got all of this dessert here, all of these Italian desserts. Tell me about these. These are the Zappa. Zappa yeah, those are uh, Nutella stuffed Zappa's. Okay, cannot wait. And then we've got two of their tiramisu, and then two chocolate mousse. Yes, sir. Yes, and then these are Sic also signature desserts. Sicilian amaretto cookies. Okay, those are gonna be great with healthy strawberries. And then we've got, what's this cheesecake? Ricotta cheesecake. All right, and then this is? A chocolate mountain cake. Okay, I hope I don't lose on the desserts, but there's always room for dessert. But either way, I've got one hour to finish everything here. If I fail this challenge, it is going to be quite a bit of money. So I don't want to do that, but if I win, I'm going to get my entire meal for free. I will get a sweet t-shirt, and I'll be the first person with my name and photo up here on their wall of fame. Let's get this challenge started. All right, feeling good after that massive mango challenge that I did last night in Miami. Big thank you to Sid and his whole team. Everybody here with Talavino de la Note in Coral Springs, Florida. Big thanks to the head chef, Bruno. Everybody here, but let's just shut up and eat and get the first victory. Gonna start out by finishing one of these veal chop parms. So one, two, three. Boom, all right. Got a sharp knife. Let's dig in. This should go down pretty good. Oh yeah. A couple people have chicken parm in the audience and I was jealous, but veal is amazing. Nathan Figueroa lives near here and he has brought his girlfriend Livia for a nice romantic dinner here and he said it was delicious. So I've been looking forward to trying all this. <laughs> Two and a half minutes in, I'm gonna do another one of these veal chop parms. This is amazing. I'm gonna eat this and enjoy it while it's still warm. The meatballs are sitting in sauce, so I imagine they're gonna go down nice. Very tender, this is delicious. And the mozzarella cheese on here is great too. Six minutes, 43 seconds in. <laughs> 7 45 in, I was gonna switch over to meatballs, but I don't think once this cools down, it's gonna be my best friend. So I am gonna finish all of this while it's still warm and delicious and gooey, and then we'll move on to the meatballs.
I've never eaten a challenge like this before, so I'm just putting my strategy together on the go. Last bits of the veal chop parm. Yeah. All right, right at 15 minutes in, we're done with all the veal chop parms. That was amazing. That was, I think, a little over four pounds with all of the meat, the cheese, the sauce, everything like that. Now we're gonna move on to the five ounce meatballs. There's three of those. Top with ricotta cheese, and then we'll dip the garlic bread into this sauce. Mm. Can I go ahead and get a uh, Diet Coke, of course. please, with uh, very light ice? Sure. One more thing. Yes. I'll need a spoon. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. I'm turning Sid into one of my servers <laughs> on accident. He is much appreciated. To use these garlic breads to get some of this sauce down. Sauce is not required, but it's going to help get the bread down. I'm envisioning in my mind this pasta going down fast. We will see. I'm having soda right now. That purple haze is not required. I'm gonna to try to finish it. Mostly wanted to show the healthy blueberries on top. <laughs> you might be scared about this pasta still, still sitting here, but remember, these are thin bowls. Or at least that's what I'm telling myself. Last piece of garlic bread. All right, we are 25 minutes, 58 seconds in. Gonna take a quick little digestion break to enjoy a sip of this purple haze. What makes it purple? Um, I don't know, it's Bruno's drink. <laughs> oh, it's Bruno's special drink. Yes, it is. Can I kiss this guy? I don't know why my pinky wasn't up to start with. Ah, okay. You can definitely tell there's vodka in that. We'll save the penne al vodka till later. Then we'll do the pear pasta now. It's kind of like a tortellini ravioli, so it's gonna be yummy. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm in. They even said earlier, yeah, you wouldn't think pear and pasta go together, but wow, that is delicious. And it's got pear, so it's almost healthy. I really don't know how to describe this. It's so good. So if you're ever in the area, this definitely needs to be on your plate. There's an appetizer size version and an entree too. I'm supposed to go out for a drink with Nathan and Libby after this. I don't know if that's gonna happen. All right, last actual bite of the pasta. Whew. What are we eating here? What is this? Walnut hair pasta? Yeah. Yep, and they got the, the wine sauce in there too. Oh, wine sauce, okay. And then pear. Ooh, 32 minutes in. Ooh, we're getting there. 34 minutes, 20 seconds in. One more 
more refill and then I think we're going to be okay. Last bite of non-dessert. We are right at 44 minutes in. We got 16 minutes to go. Gonna start out with this chocolate lava cake. All right, let's do these almond things. We got four of these. Oh, I thought it was gonna be crunchy. That is amazing, wow. Nathan, I don't know about that drink after this. <laughs> Using all parts of my stomach for this one. This food is so good. Nice. Last one. Yeah. 54 minutes in, we got six minutes to go. Let's go. Let's go. Definitely not using those stupid forks. <laughs> oh, it is not a bad word. You'll learn a lot worse than that soon. Stop it. <laughs> the cake's easy. All right, this is tiramisu. Right at two minutes to go.
I didn't want to have any left in my mouth like last time. I probably could have, but I didn't want to have that uh, doubt. I wanted to leave no doubt. Oh, I am hurting, but I feel like a champion. I'm the first person to win. That was so much food. Oh, it was a lot of food to begin with, but that was a massive dessert plate. Thank you so much, everybody, for cheering me on to victory. That was a close one. Big thank you to Sid, the owner, Bruno, the head chef that prepared that entire delicious meal. Big thanks to everybody involved with this delicious challenge. It was overall win number 941. Thank you guys for watching.